out in the streets. You won't survive with whack ass beats. MF Doom, the late, the late dead MF Doom. Have you heard of Wan Speak? No, of course you fucking haven't. About 12 people knew what it was. Wan Speak, Wan being short for Ewan, so it was like Ewan Speak, like me talk. Me. Me, me. Fucking me. Uh, oh, me fucking me. What a, what a delightful idea. Let's get a clone. I need a clone of me. Right. Sh this goes out to anyone with cloning capabilities. I need a Ewan clone. Um, it was in college when I was 17, 18, 19. Um, I got a blog spot. And I turned it into like a web comic called Wan Speak, where I put up all of my humour was like I've shown a little bit of it. it was random, like oh that's so random and weird. It's what's going on? Um, this one, for instance, swallowed another radiator. That was an idea for a, a little comic, which was two people talking. One saying, "Oh hey, are you okay? What's up?" And the other one goes, "Oh, I just swallowed another radiator," and that's that's the joke. Um, it's not, I mean, it's kind of funny. It's a little bit funny. It's still a little bit funny. Um, the blog, I, the, I, I took it down, I think, eventually. I mean, this was in the MySpace day. So this was, I was putting these up on MySpace, promoting it, letting everyone know, hey, everyone, there's a new WAN speaker. See, I've been doing this shit for years, for fucking, no, I was going to say decades, I guess not quite, but close enough for fucking years fucking comics and shit um but i found this i was digging through a box of old shit old drawings and shit i also found this from the same sort of time it was ewan ewan self super me and that's that's a portrait of myself at the time by myself at the time the hand fucking stinks but hey i couldn't draw for shit but that's not bad that's quite a good likeness of a young ewan a young slim smooth ewan pokey yeah, little adam's apple in the hat that was one of a couple of hats that I wore all the fucking time. I used to always wear this like green um, beanie cap. That was like a beanie with a peak, like a beanie cap. Um, I wore it at the start of college because I had spots on my forehead, so I wanted to cover them up. And then I wore it for long enough that I thought people would think it was weird if I didn't wear it. People would be like, oh, you and where's your hat? Mm. So I just kept wearing it. And then it became known as like you were... So I found this. This is a list I made of Wan Speaks, like I did. I'd, I'd write down the ideas in pencil um, of, of Wan Speaks, and I thought it could be fun to go through. I was actually excited to look at this with you guys. Like sometimes I do my podcasts, and I'm like, oh, it's Thursday. I'll get a podcast done. I guess I'll think of something, or I might have something going on, and I'm like, oh, okay, well I can do this on my podcast. Cool. But this, I was like, oh yeah, I'm actually excited. To, to get this on a podcast. Um, so let's have a look at how funny a fucking 17-year-old Ewan was. How many years ago was that? 15? 15 years. Jesus. Time bloody flies. Piece of poo. Poo spelt P-O-O-H. Winnie the Pooh. Um, I assume... I was drawing different versions. <gasps> shit! Oh, shit. I literally just remembered. It wasn't drawn. Okay, so most, all, basically all of these, most of them, were drawn on MS Paint because I was sat on my laptop, my old funky, chunky, funky, fucking chunky ass laptop um, on MySpace or whatever. And then I'd just go on MS Paint, draw one of these stupid little comics quickly, and then post it. Um, but these ones, just this one, the poo poo ones, I had a JPEG of Winnie the Pooh with no background, so just Winnie the Pooh. And then I, so I cut a piece of him out and then had an arrow pointing at it, and it was piece of poo, get it? A piece of poo. And then soft poo, I don't know if I did a soft poo or how I would show this. Maybe I just drew bumps in him or something. Wet poo, I drew poo like with dripping water droplets on him with like a puddle at his feet. 
And then Runny Poo. I don't know. I might have like given him like a headband and sweatbands um, and drawn like sweat droplets on him to show that he'd been running like a runny. Get it? Because it's poo jokes. Oh. Most of Wan speak was like just person doing thing, thing happening to person, two persons interacting. But occasionally I'd throw in something like, you know, piece of poo. I play bass. That, that was funny. Let's get a bit of paper. Let's recreate some of these son of a bitches. Um, I play bass was, and this is how simple, obviously done on MS Paint, so they looked a bit different, but it was essentially this. Uh, I think you can see where the joke joke is going um, this is basically what it looked like but you know pixely and it said I play bass <laughs> see it's like a bass it's a bass fish because they're big they get big big enough that you could like use it like a guitar but it's bass spelt bass but it's bass i play i play bass. that was that that was the joke that's the th um always wear your seat belt that was a guy just standing in in a space but wearing a seat belt that was a guy I usually drew the mouths open just because I preferred how they looked. Um, and he had his—he was giving a, a thumbs up, and he had his shitty little legs and his rubbish feet, and he had his seatbelt on. And it said, always wear your seatbelt. So it said, always, always wear your... It didn't say, just when you're in your car. It said, always wear your seatbelt. Uh, melting. That was this. This was a fun one. Um, i try to get it as accurate as possible. I think it was basically that. And it said... Melting like that. <laughs> uh, uh, there's not really a joke to that one. It just was a funny thing. Um, street stopping people. I can't. I don't think I used this one. See, obviously, some of them have got stars, and they're like the grade A perfect. Do these ones? Um, most of them I did. Some of them I didn't do. I don't think I did street stopping people. I believe that was about the people who stop you in the street. To be like, oh hey, excuse me, can I can I stop you to talk about fucking starving children or something? And then you say, no, I'm far too busy to deal with that shit. Alternative fashion, just making fun of alternative fashion. Uh, worse than a spot on the end of your nose. <laughs> Oh, um, I would say, well, <laughs> okay, so the the joke is, I think it was literally a drawing of a guy and he had a red dot on his nose. Um, and, and then it said, what's worse than a spot on the end of your nose? Answer, getting raped. <laughs> Which I appreciate, especially, you know, in the slightly more modern times, that's a bit... Come on, Ewan, what are you doing? But at the time, but also it's it's factual. Any day, any day of the week, I'd much rather have a spot right on the tippy end of my nose than be forced into some kind of sexual situation that I don't want to be in. Um, so it's true. It's not, I mean, again, it's a little bit funny. The I think with most of these, like the idea is funny, but then the execution is just sort of, hmm. 
Meh. Um, so that was that. Getting raped. Oh. Um, Giraffe Neck Man. I did a small series. Um, and that's that's it. I did a small series. <laughs> Uh, I did a small series of, of these types of ones that were, um, what did I call them? Just like worst superheroes or something. And this superhero was Giraffe Neck Man. Which, I mean, <laughs> wouldn't necessarily be the, the worst superhero. It would be very inconvenient. Just day-to-day -day life would be really sort of weird and awkward. You know, getting into a car, going under doors, door frames and things. Eating, actually, would be pretty awkward. You'd have to, like, bend your head all the way down. Um, but that was that was one of... I had another one. Um, I did read through this list, but I don't think I saw it on here. Which was fit between the spaces, man. <laughs> so I can't remember exactly how it went, but there was, like, blocks like this and then... Man, this is hands. And he was <laughs> hit between the spaces, man. <laughs> See, he fits between the spaces, man. <laughs> uh, where, where, giraffe neck, man, okay. Poo sticks. Um, <laughs> so poo sticks is a game within the, the world of Winnie the Pooh, if you're unaware, where in they drop sticks. Um, they go to a river, they drop sticks on one side of a bridge. They each have a different like shaped stick or whatever. Um, and then the person whose stick goes under the bridge first, the fastest, is the winner. Um, which is, you know, some dumb child shit or whatever. Uh, and this was the... the I'm not going to draw the legs. Oh, yeah, I will. Okay, <laughs> I was going to say, fuck it. I'm, just, I'm not going to draw the legs on these anymore because fuck it. But I will. I will. Just for you guys. Uh, um, and then there was... The stick had, like, stuff on it and with stink lines. And then it said, I think I might have had an arrow saying poo. So it's a poo stick. <laughs> poo sticks. Get it. Um, no offence. That It said no offence. And then it said no, comma, a fence. And then a drawing of a fence. C. Um, I had people liked this. There were people that told me, like, every time I update saying there's a new WAN speak, they'll be like, oh, yes, fucking yes, best day ever. A new WAN speak. And they were looking forward to it. They were probably lying to me. I did have this portion, this period of my life, much, much more recent, actually, in maybe a few years ago, where I was halfway convinced that I might have actually been, like, mentally deficient, like, basically retarded. Um... And that everyone was just being super nice to me because of how people spoke to me. They were really sort of like, oh, yeah, oh, that's really good. You, Oh, that's so nice. You, Oh, you and And like girls, for instance, would be polite to me and like touch me on the arm. And I always learned that like if a girl touches you on the arm, it's like a sign that like she's she might be into you. Um, but then the more I looked at it, the more it seemed like really condescending and like, no, oh, you precious, oh, bless you. No. Um, so I was pretty sure for a while that I was actually retarded and had been my whole life, but everyone had just been super nice to me. I built this idea in my head that I was just normal. I'm just fine. Um, and, you know, on reflection, people being really nice and positive about my WAN speak comics um, were probably just pitying me, you know. Um, I c can't really blame them. <laughs> uh, um, sneezing Japanese guy, I believe, would have been a Japanese... Uh, a, 
Pro- <laughs> probably a very racially insensitive drawing of a ja- Well, I say that. I mean, I probably drew... I think I drew, like, typical sort of Japanese businessman. But as in much as, as this was the drawing style I was using, so it was like... Like this. Um, and then... I guess he was... It looks like he's rapping or beatboxing, doesn't it? Um, give him a shirt because they all have their work clothes. Uh, and then there was a speech bubble and there was... I literally, I googled Japanese writing, clipped some of it out again with MS Paint and then pasted it into here. So it was just, just, it could have been any anything, just Japanese that I don't have a fucking foggiest clue what it could have been. Um, and then another guy here saying, bless you. <sighs> Which now I look at it is probably racist. But hey, that's, that's Ewan, isn't it? Probably racist. Ewan, probably racist. Uh, blackheads. <laughs> no, okay, that was actually, now I remember, that was not, not, ra not racist. I think it was like this. Um, it might have been a, a two-panel one, and it, obviously it was a blog, so like you scroll down to see more of it, so it would have been underneath. And then the underneath was this, and this will take me a second to... It's not race, it wasn't racist. It wasn't, I swear. <laughs> Oh, God. Young Ewan was just... Uh, wow, we haven't even gotten into the misogyny of it all yet, so... we that to look forward to. Um, so, he's got a black head. He's obviously sad. And then he was saying um, something like, uh, I hate black heads. And then you scroll down and then you see... This guy. Hmm. Because he's sad, because he hates black. That's not racist. Um, stupid rubbish arms. Solution butt. <laughs> okay, I think I remember that one. I think that was person uh, and they had like little arms or they might have been like wibbly arms they might not have been because that's again that's, that's a little bit offensive isn't it to people with little arms um, shit I just remembered the wording of it as well <laughs> I used to write funny just to be funny. So it was, um, he like dropped like a vase or something. You know, like when you're carrying a vase, like everyone does. Um, and it said, oh no, you are dropped it because you have rubbish arms now they might have been really short but like i say they might have been wibbly arms and then so then it says salute the solution was kill yourself and then i think it, then so then it was stupid rubbish arms blah, 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 blah. solution kill yourself but was the so there was a third part to it which is but you can't work the gun because of your stupid rubbish arms. Uh, 
Ah, oh, young young Ewan was funny. He's funny. He was funny, and now old Ewan is funny too. Put the telly on. I think that was just a guy with the telly on his head, or it might have been. It might have been like almost like telly tubby ish, um, or it was like that. I believe it might have been that. And it was put the telly on. See, he's got the telly on him. Uh, I mean, it's not like the height, height, absolute tip top height of comedy, but it's something create the universe. I don't recall at all what that was. I don't have a clue. Or create the universe was um, probably something bad mouthing God because I was edgy and cool like that and still am edgy and cool obviously just like riding a bicycle um, I don't know don't know what that one was just like riding a bicycle uh, with no face no uh, JPEG I don't know why JPEG so that was that was like this Again, MS Paint drawings, nothing spectacular. And it was um, with no face, no one can hear you scream. Hey, that's funny. Um, oh, actually, the JPEG might have been, because that's it's a play on in space, no one can hear you scream, which I think is a thing. And then I might have had a JPEG of that quote and then I edited it to say with no face instead of in space, no one can hear you scream. Uh, pickle me Elmo. <laughs> like tickle me Elmo. But it was a jar. It was, a, I actually drew it green because all these were just black and white. And then I actually had, um, I've got beard hairs everywhere. It was a jar. And there was an Elmo in it. I don't know, how do I draw Elmo? Has it got, are his eyes on top of his head or on the front? Might be on the front. <laughs> what kind of fucking specimen is that? Um, and then it was like dark green here and then a lighter green here. Like he'd been pickled. It was a pickle me Elmo. He'd been pickled instead of tickled. Oh, it's funny. It's funny, funny. <laughs> Halloween ghost. I don't know what that would have been. Um, obviously, it's typical sheet ghost, Halloween ghost. I don't know. I don't know how I would have made that funny. <laughs> uh, I don't know how I made any of these funny. Evidently, I didn't. Um... No new messages. Uh, that might have been something, to, another suicide thing. Uh, um, zombie uses. That was, I think I did, probably, I might have only done one of them. That was like, uh, so the one, um, fuck. I it was something like this. It was a zombie. And the zombies, I gave them uh, grey skin, obviously because they're zombies and had like their eyes coming out and stuff. Like that, and like patches of skin missing and whatever. Torn clothes, you know, zombies. Um, and then there was another would have been another guy here going like this, like exhibiting his use for the, because it's uses of zombies, is that zombie uses, yeah. Um, so it would have been like zombie use number, you know, 482 or whatever. Um, and it was this one I remember in particular was so fucking stupid. <laughs> 
Um, I can't even think how I draw it. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is a piano. <laughs> So, and it was like zombie use number 268 or whatever, somewhere to keep your grand piano. And then that's, you keep your grand piano in the zombie's head. And it might have been like somewhere to keep your bullets and then it was a zombie full of, that kind of thing. You get it? Funny, funny, funny stuff. Hilarious, bloody funny stuff. Um, Dent is time. I don't remember the exact joke quote unquote joke um but it was some it would have been something to do with like that the old joke when what time is it when you have to go to the dentist 2 30 tooth hurty oh no i might have been smarter than that i might have <laughs> it wasn't smart it wasn't smart at all um it would have been a, two guys and then one asking the other one, um, what time is your dentist appointment? And then the other guy looking at his watch going, um, like quarter past four or something. And then it, there might have even been another frame of them both just staring at each other like that. To make it extra fun. See, because the joke is, oh, what time is it when you have to go to the dentist? And then it's 2.30 is the expected answer, if you know the joke. And then he says, uh, 4.15. Yeah, ha! <laughs> you flip it on them. You flip it. You take it. You fucking flip it. Would you like to take a look at an art book? Well then, let's take a look at an art book. A bloody heavy one today. We've got a few of those. Um, this is certainly one of them. WK Interact Exterior Interior Act 2. Don't know if there is a book for Act 1. Um, this was this was heavily in my graffiti uh, loving obsessive days, my graffiti writing time as a as a young lad. Uh, do we have a date? 2005. Gosh. Many, many moons ago. Um, it's all about the old days today, isn't it? Young Ewan. WK Interact, I guess is his full name, or just WK for short. I never bothered to learn if that means anything or whatever. Um, he's a street artist, which is, you know... Uh, mm. I like some work by street artists as opposed to graffiti artists, but I always was a bit of a... Um, a graffiti sort of traditionalist. Like graffiti was graffiti. This is graffiti. This is street art. And street art can just about fuck off. Banksy isn't a graffiti artist. Banksy's a street artist and is therefore less than a graffiti artist. But you know, these days I don't care quite so much. Um, so WKK's work, I'm not too into it in general. This is his work. He takes photographs of people and things, manipulates them either through photocopying or digital manipulation or Photoshop or whatever, makes stencils out of them and paints them or just prints them as posters and puts them up. Some of his compositions are quite neat. I mean, I quite like this. I like the sort of soldier, urban warfare kind of look. Obviously it's like a hoodie, but it's got like military vibes to it. Um, and then, and I quite like the the swishy lines where, you know, it's like painting graffiti and there's swishes and like that's It's quite, quite neat. I don't hate his work. So I'm not saying, oh, fuck this guy. I'm not a huge fan is all. Um, I think mostly because it's not drawings or paintings, it's like, taking a photo and then manipulating that and making art out of that, <coughs> which he kind of does, but, uh, you know, and yeah, he uses stencils and splats and he does 
create like murals or whatever. Ooh, sex. Um, with these manipulated photos, edited photos, whatever. But the thing that got me more, the reason I got this book, which I almost certainly stole at the time, was there's a lot of this in the book. <clears throat> now, oh fuck, it'd be really cool to show you my copy of um, Subway Art, because there's a page in that where even Chio, my, my good friend Chio, pointed out it's basically the best page in the whole book is a page of, of photos of the artists in their sort of studio space, for lack of a better term. There's like someone holding some spray can caps. There's pictures of them drawing in their black books and trading sketches and stuff. And that's one of the best pages because that's like graffiti writers doing their thing like before they do the graffiti. It's, it's, it's the, like the inner workings of an artist, like an artist's studio space. Um, so stuff like that and stuff like this almost gives me a bigger art boner than the art a lot of the time. Not a lot of the times, but sometimes, especially in, in cases like WK Interact, where for me personally, his work is kind of meh. Like it's neat. Yeah, there's nothing to really hate about it other than the fact that it's not a drawing. Um, but his work is sort of meh, bleh, whatever. Um, he, he's, he strikes me as being more of a designer than an artist. Where he's designing posters and stickers and stencils and arranging them in a certain way, as opposed to, you know, really... I mean, he create Oh, whatever. That's the, not the point. The point is, it's stuff like this. I love stuff like this. Dirty hands and shirts and, you know, and this this was me. This is what I looked like a lot of the time as a kid. Uh, just covered in paint constantly. I, a lot of the times I'd cover my stuff in paint on purpose to make it look like I was more of an artist than I actually was. But I very often would be covered in paint. And I loved all that stuff. That, that, that made me... I'd see stuff like that, and that would make me want to create, want to either sit and draw in my sketchbook for 10 hours or go out and paint on some walls. So, um... Yeah, he does draw. Everyone draws, whatever, but... Even these, I quite like these, obviously, like... I th they may... It may be that these are, like, drawn to look like designs for something, but this is the piece of artwork. So it looks like it's for something else, but it's actually... And I feel like WK has a lot of that going on, where a lot of his work is about the creation of a piece, which is quite cool. I, I like that. Lots of photos, which I guess he'd use for his work and such. Some pretty neat collages and stuff. Um, I'm also, I'm not entirely down with <coughs> stuff like this. Because it, each of these tags would be a person's tag. Say so, that's a pretty, pretty known one. Um... And so he's making art out of other people's graffiti. Even if they're just tags, they're still other people's, you know, graffiti. They're other people's things. So he's making art out, out of that. So I'm not totally down with that. I think it's a bit like... Like in, in my comics and stuff, a lot of the times I'll put graffiti in the background and walls and things just because I like the aesthetic. But I will always draw my own... Oh, he might have... He did list all these. So there's there's me saying what a shit he is for the, for using other people's graffiti. But he has listed the artists, so he may... Oh, I don't know if he, if he would have had their permission or gotten them to do tags, but... There's quite a few big names in there. Twist, Kuma, Neckface, Shepard Faring, Asma Caspo, Iraq, Iraq. So with the neck face and Sacer. Sacer KR is a big name. Claw. Fail. Fade. Twist. Barry McGee. Fucking legend. So yeah, so he's got the list there, but I don't know how. I'm just spouting a load of shit. Um, this is cool. I like things in frames. There's a lot more of that in here as well. Um, Some of it's all right, some of it's not. 
<coughs> I quite like this. But at the same time, do I... Um, uh, see, on reflection, so I think he put these boards up and made them available for people to tag and then used them in an exhibition space. Which again, that's like using other people's tags for your art. It's, it's a bit... Um, not entirely sure. Fuck you. I like that someone just wrote fuck you on, on that. That's quite funny. Um, I guess he got his friends to come and, or just whoever, and took pictures of them tagging the door. I do have a book called Gates of Graffiti, which is literally a whole book of photos of doors covered in graffiti. And that's quite a good one. I do like that kind of aesthetic. And I like that he uses that aesthetic, the dirty, you know, grime aesthetic. There's a lot of this where he sets up, like, uh, I don't even know the words to use. Maybe he uses words that I should actually read. Um, that's quite a neat collage of just stuff, stencils and things. But yeah, he sets up these whole kits of like, I don't know, almost like tactical espionage art kits. So night vision goggles and, and you know, flak jackets and bulletproof vests and stuff. And also markers and paint, spray paint. Like urban camouflage, but with graffiti. That's quite a, quite a nifty thing, I quite like that. Some of these are quite good. I do like how, um, I saw one artist, I think it was Crap Panther on Instagram. They had, uh, they were making like collections, like a first aid kit, like a handmade first aid kit box with all the little bits that were all handmade. Quite like that stuff. And I've shown my, my, um, my bug out bag with everything in it. I, I love having like that, the photo of all that laid out. Trousers, knives, rope, things, tape, stuff, masks, whatever. I quite like that, so like depictions of kits is quite a cool thing. Like that. I like that, black and white, that's quite neat. So I do still have uh, an art student inside me where I do quite like, oh, it's like black and white and it's a kit and it's all these bits and it's an idea and it's about collecting the things that you use for the stuff. I do still like quite a lot of that. Um, so, so when I see that in a book, it makes me go, oh, art, yeah, to some degree. Um, but yeah, and he, he, so he makes these kits and he, I don't know how long he stayed out there for, but he got the photos at least, and that's what counts, you get the photos of the work. But he obviously was like painting camo, camo on stuff. It's kind of cool. I don't know how cool it is to like, I guess he's not impersonating a homeless person. He's using an urban sort of aesthetic or whatever in order to blend into the urban environment whilst creating artwork. So there's, yeah, there's ideas and stuff to it, which I quite like. And this, this, this. You know, um, did you ever play Getting Up? The game, the Mark Echoes, ridiculous graffiti game, where the main character Train had like a harness that had spray cans in pockets. Um, and there's a page in... Uh, I'm referencing books that are underneath piles, so I can't just grab them. Um, in Twist, Barry McGee's book, where he shows a jacket that has pockets sewn onto the inside that are just the right size to hold spray cans in. So you have your jacket lined with spray cans, but hidden away. I love stuff like that. I used to do that. I used to make duct tape pockets and put them inside jackets and stuff to hold cans and markers and, you know, DVDs and books that I could steal. So when I see stuff like that, like this, just like, yeah, my bug out bag kit, it's very similar to this. Uniform, brushes and the whole kit. I'm, I'm a fan of that sort of stuff. This, I'd go to this exhibition if it was close by, just to be like, I went to that exhibition, but the actual artwork, to me, is sort of meh. So zebra print, 
as a camouflage. I quite like camouflage as a thing, so that's kind of cool. But it's not even zebra print, is it? It's a thumbprint, but it looks like zebra print. And then it's like on the and it's meh. It's kind of neat, but uh, meh mm, as art. But again, it's it's it's. Oh, there's got to be more. Don't do this to me. It's the kits and stuff is, is the point I was getting getting at. I don't know if there's any more pics of that. These are kind of cool. Climbing up a wall and there's motion in them and stuff, but again. Mm, 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 mm. But like I say, it was... <clears throat> I picked the book up in the store, had a look through it, and it was certainly these sorts of pages that made me take the book home. Um, the kits and stuff. The stuff that I'd see and be like, oh yeah, that's what happens when you make art, is you end up with, like without even trying, you end up with kits and just stuff around you that becomes, you know, your equipment for doing what it is you do whether it's intentional or otherwise. Yeah, it's just photos of his work in situ. I mean, even if I don't dig it, he's out there doing it, and, you know, props to him for that. <clears throat> I remember thinking, actually, I prefer the wall like that. So that's like the background of his piece. The details and stuff, that's really cool. But then when the piece is actually on there, it's like... Mm. Meh. I don't know. It's, it's kind of cool, skateboarder, and is again, warped and there's motion and stuff, but... I don't know. Not terrifically interesting to me. I do like, I like that, because it's in a box like a spy kit almost, which again, I loved when I was a kid. But it's like fat markers and caps and spray cans, pressurized containers and shit, straps and bags and tools. And... I love that. <gasps> Ooh, penthouse, you gotta have your pornos. I bought, I have, I bought this a while ago, almost specifically because of this whole vibe, I thought it would be cool to get this and have like my pens and shit, and I did take a photo of it just filled with these pens going, hmm, which pen shall I use? Um, but the problem is, generally, if I take pens out, if I'm going somewhere, I just throw a few pens in my pocket and I'm good to go. I generally don't take a pencil case or a kit or something, unless I'm going somewhere long term. Um, but it might still be cool to get a few photos with this and like stuff in it. Maybe I'll make like a, a Ewan kit, a Ewan art kit and take photos and stuff. These are pretty cool, quite like that. I could do a version of this. But that is something I tried to get away from because I did that so much at college, which I've spoken about in like my David Cho video and stuff, is seeing an artist's work and going, oh, I like that, I'll do it too. And I just do my version of their art. Whereas now I, I tend to go, they did that, which means I'll stay away from it because it's been done already. So there's no need for me to go and do it. Yeah, again, I do like these sorts of photos. I don't know, it's just something I like. Oh, that's quite cool as well, actually, there you go. So these are like disguises, I guess, urban disguises. Urban camouflage kit, there you go. If I ever read, I'd, I'd learn things. Urban camouflage kit based on garbage bags. And then here's them being used, so that's kind of cool. Urban camouflage 
So you blend in. You blend right in. Just walk through the city. You blend right in. No one knows where you are, what you're doing. That's cool. He's got like bolt cutters and ropes and stuff. <clears throat> I really like this one. Flat pack box. Flat pack box. With a hatch that you can stick out and paint through. Like Solid Snake in Metal Gear Solid. Just like that. And there's his artwork being demolished, which is quite a cool photo to get. So yeah, um, his artwork is cool. Uh, yeah, I, like I say, I can't hate it and I don't hate it. It's just as artwork, it's kind of meh. But I like the approach. I like the kits. I like the things that you I use the word kits about 8 million times. Um... Oh my god, let's take a look at Gun Viking so far. I've been doing quite a bit of work on it. I'm so close to the end. I'm only like a few pages away from finishing this whole fucking book. Um, so last we left off. Well, not last we left off, but I'll start from here. So he got his hands cut off. Oh my fucking god. What am I going to do with my cut off hands? He might be dead. Um, what's the bit in Flight of the Concords? He maybe did. Yeah, maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. No, he maybe did. Yeah, what did he maybe do? No, he, he may be dead. Not alive. That's fine. He might be dead. Shit. Um, they, God, pick up his body. You can pick him up, throw him in the fire, do whatever you want with the girl, you know. Um, hey, at least it's not a spot on the end of your nose. Um, oh, but sir, he's fucking back up. He's angry. Shit, what's going to happen? God, tent. Is this, is there glare on it? Yeah, there's a bit of glare on it. I'll try to hold it at an angle so as not to get too much glare. Oh, he's angry. He's tense. Look at the fucking veins in his arm. Oh, my God. Good. This page, I might... Uh, this may not be necessary. Because then the next page... The next pages is this. His arm's fucking... Blood and veins and shit coming out. And then... Spoosh. Gun barrel and shit coming out of his arm. And then more shit coming out of his arm. Because um, this one, depending on page counts and if I need to move pages around or to enable double page spreads to sit together, if I have to remove a page, then I may be able to get rid of this one. We'll see how it goes. Oh, his fucking arms are like metal gun parts coming out of them. And then more gun, gun arm. Psh, ksh, the sound effect. Ksh. There. And and there he is, the big fucking guy. God, oh, gun arms ready, ready to go. -da 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 Shells all flying past him. Oh fuck me. Uh, see they're all scared in the background, the guy who cut his arms off. He's scared, they're all terrified of the gun arm man. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Dead fuckers. Ah oh, he shot his head off. More shells, more death. I like this. They were like, pew, 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 pew. Um, head on the floor and shit. Oh, Fucking mean gun arm, um, gun viking. The truest meaning of gun viking. <sighs> huff, huff, pant, it says. Oh, the bullet holes are quite cool in there. I'm pretty happy with that. And the blood and shit on the walls. A hand, a candle, I don't know. <sighs> See those? Hopefully, I, I'll be able to have that as a spread. So then there'll be, I guess, that'll be a spread. This page and this page. And you'll be like, holy fuck me. And then so you go this page and then these two pages fit together quite nice. Shooting, people dying. And then this page. So like it bookends these two pages. With these two pages. Ready for action and spent. Yeah, it's good storytelling or something. I don't know, whatever. <gasps> and then uh, these are the pages I've just finished. So he's just blown everyone the fuck away. He's spent, he's tired. Big bad guy's looking at him like just dot, dot, dot in a speech bubble. And he's just like, what the fuck? And there he stands. 
All the dead bodies, shells, heads and arms and legs. And the girl sat in the middle of it. Oh, my goodness, what have you done? And then he's like... <laughs> and he turns to look and he's like, The fuck are you laughing at? You car Tension! Oh, my God, the guns are full. I didn't illustrate this as clearly as I could have. I think I could have done better, but I think you get the idea. The guns are like falling out of his arms and there's a clang clang on the floor as they hit the, the stone floor. Tendons and blood and shit as the guns fall away from his arms. And then <gasps> the arm, the tendons, they're all coming out and then they're, I don't know, I didn't draw. I'd have to draw like 50 panels to draw it properly to animate, animate every little bit of it. But the tendons, they all come out and they clump together and they form the bones of the hand and then all the flesh gathers around it to make the hand again he's got hands again what the fuck oh my oh my god she can't believe what she's seeing <laughs> fucking back ready for action he's, he's mean he's, he's coming out i'm pretty happy with this the, the foreshortening on this page and then his hand his fist ready to go shine pop oh a gun, that must be how he gets his guns out of fucking nowhere. And then he's got his gun, he's ready to go. Oh my God, the big bad guy is suddenly like, oh shit, what's happening? Shing, he pulls his swords, his big swords that he has um, behind his back. You see them there, you see them quite well in one of the previous, pre one of the pervious pages. Yeah, like the swords behind his back, sort of, I don't know, whatever. Um, guy, he's got his swords, he's ready to go, and then, bosh, gun viking, too quick. Got a gun right to his throat, I believe is where that would be pointing. That's where I'm at so far. This panel, I realised. <laughs> oh, uh, right hand, right hand, right hand, gun in his right hand, and that's his left hand. <laughs> <laughs> and that's his right hand. So I fucked up. So I flipped this panel around and it's, it's all fine. And also, you'll see it. They're up on Patreon now. Um, I might post them on my new, uh, my, my new, my close friends list for Instagram. Um, so this space here is taken up with about this much, like just so you can see the gun of this panel. And then it cuts off at the bottom. And then, um, oh, and then, then I cut it off about here, just, just above that line here. On this page um, so this panel actually carries from this page to this page but flipped around because of the stupid mistake of drawing the wrong hand <gasps> so that's that <clears throat> where's it gonna go next gosh um, I mean I won't say specifically because I'm quite looking forward to the uh, to doing the next couple of pages it might even be three pages but then oh, maybe only two because one of those is going to be a double page spread. Um, so I might only need to paint two more pages. What would it be? It'd be... Ah, uh, no, I will need another page. Okay, so three more pages to paint one of those. One of those I'll paint this size and it will be a double page spread. But obviously I'll blow it up when it gets printed. So that's exciting. Gun Vikings coming the fuck along. Um, have you heard of Wanspeak? It's this comic I used to do in college. Oh, it's bloody hilarious. Um, we'll, I'll go through the rest of them just because. Um, maybe I won't draw them. All. So those kids, that's the title for this one. And they were, because, you know, the blog posts that where I posted them had, like, the title of your blog post. So it would be, like those kids i am fat uh, rubbish and stupid and i smell bad and i make this annoying whistle noise when i talk and i listen in on your conversations and laugh at your jokes and then tell your jokes to other people and i like gardening equipment and reading the labels on bottles and my name is probably something idiot like toby <laughs> those kids you know ah, what a bunch of fucking assholes um, and then i just drew a picture of just person and had their name being Toby, I don't know. Radio Singer's Criminal Record. Um, I honestly have no fucking idea. I, like, some of these I'm like, oh, maybe I meant this. This one, I have no fucking clue what I meant. 
with Radio Singer's criminal record. Crap Donald's, that was probably just like McDonald's, more like Crap Donald's. <laughs> uh, Bombay Mix, again, not a clue. Swallowed another radiator, that's that's one I said. Um, skiing. Not a clue. Glasses, table, glued. <laughs> that might have been like, here's a fun idea. Glue your friend's glasses to a table or something. Um, top friends. Again, it was MySpace, so you had like your top eight friends. Um, which So that was probably something. I don't remember any of these ideas. What the fuck? Um, oh, watching paint dry now. Um, oh, let's, oh, that one. So most of them were MS Paint, evidently. Or oh, this this is a page from a sketchbook, a really good page from a sketchbook. Um, I probably drew it here first. I would have then drawn it in MS Paint afterwards, but this was my you know my sketchbook, my notes. You can see how brilliantly drawn they are. Look, I almost made them better. Fifteen years later, um, so there's a guy sat down and a guy behind him. The guy is like, ugh, this is like watching paint dry. And the guy's like, well, what are you doing? And he goes, watching paint dry. So I thought I'd just give you a moment to stop laughing so hard, obviously. I'm sure you're all in hysterics. See, oh, this is like watching paint dry, boring. What are you doing? Oh, I'm watching paint dry. I'm say I... It's like watching this as boring as watching paint dry because I'm watching paint dry. The shrug hole. I remember the shrug hole. Um, this this was the shrug hole. Uh, let's see if I can draw it accurately. You could probably sort of see where it's going already. They're not deep. It's not like you, I have to draw the entire thing, write the caption, and then you read it, take a minute, and go, ah, oh, okay, I get it, because this, this reference is this, and I see, because, you know, owing to this and this and this from past things and history of European theatre, whatever. Would have been lines like this, and it would say... Shrug. And that was the shrug hole. <laughs> uh, everyone, come on, get involved. Have a, have a stand in the shrug hole. I might have even had a guy stood here looking at him, like, bemused. I liked bemused faces, like this. Like, like this, but, like, ever so slightly frowning. So, like, just bemusement and unimpressed expressions. And I still do, I guess. You know, now instead of drawing them like that, I draw them like this. Just unimpressed, not having fun. Look how I've developed in 15 years. Wow. I might keep that for the thumbnail, hence not drawing around it. You know, I need a thumbnail. Um, <laughs> shrug, I'll put the cat out. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. You just threw up a little. That was a funny one. So, that, okay, all right. Let's, uh, let's get another piece of paper. Um, so that would be, there's, there was a guy here, and this is similar to the radiator one. I, I'd argue it's, it's basically identical to the radiator one. Um, but the concept's funnier. Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> that's arguable. <laughs> uh, so this was drawn on MS Paint, so I could make lines shitty and then, you know, erase them where necessary. Mess on him. Uh, legs, oh, the fucking legs. I... And then this guy is saying, oh, are you okay? What's up? Just like the radiator one. And this guy's going, oh, it's fine. You just threw up in my mouth a little bit. So it's not, I just threw up in my mouth. Like, that happens. But it was, 
you just threw up in my mouth a little. Ha! Are you okay? What's the wrong? Oh, you just threw up in my mouth a little. Ah, see, you throw up in someone else's mouth a little bit. It's funny, it's a play on words, yeah? It's to do with the interconnectedness of things and, you know, relaying one point through another, but then back on itself, folding a point, taking a point and folding it back. It's the origami of making a point, yeah? You make an art out of folding the point back on itself and vomit also. Uh, Japanese words, that would have been the same as the Japanese sneezing guy. Um, or it might have even been less than that. It might have been two people talking to each other, literally saying like, this. Oh no, I remember. Um, it was, uh, sorry, I apologize, but it was the, the typical, the salary man, the, the Japanese salary man talking to another one saying Japanese words. And this one probably said also, or more Japanese words. Because they're Japanese, and I don't know Japanese, but they're speaking to each other in Japanese words, so... Yeah, that's why I, I feel these really need explanation, these jokes. They really need me here to explain... Like, you won't get the joke if I'm not here to tell you in detail and depth why it's funny. You have to know why. Not just, it's a funny joke. You have to know specifically why it's funny. <laughs> Make poverty history jokes. Uh, make poverty history was like a, like a comic aid, a uh, comic comic aid, comic relief sort of thing at the time. Um, <laughs> that worked. <laughs> no, it didn't. That's the. Jo I don't know what this. I have no idea what this one is. Um, stung by nettles, kick girls. <laughs> Not a clue. The way to the station. Um, that would have been like two people talking, one saying, do you know the way to the station? And the other person saying, Barnacle Bob or something, I don't know. Um, you know, being funny, women's rights. <laughs> I'm only, I'm laughing because I don't know what the joke was. I have all these ideas and not a fucking clue what any of them mean. Just the fact that I have women's rights, you can only imagine what a young Ewan was thinking of when he wrote, he wrote women's rights on his ideas list for comics. Um, what could that have been? Women's rights. It <laughs> I'm going to draw this one off, off camera and then I'll show you. This is what it might have been. I'm not entirely sure, but this could be what it was. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me a moment while I draw this one down. Uh, just amuse yourselves for a minute. Go watch a different video and then forget about this one. Uh, no, don't watch all the way through. It's funny, I swear. Uh, <laughs> this I, this is funny to me because I'm a pig. I'm a piece of shit. I'm I'm literally a misogynist piece of shit. Ah, oh, this. I mean, I say this might have been what it was. I hope you can't see what I'm drawing. That would ruin everything. Um. <laughs> This is me thinking this would be funny if this is what it was, but there is every chance that this is what it was. So, you know, this this is a youngie. This isn't me now. This is a 17-year-old boy. You can't, um, you know, you can't blame a 17-year-old boy for this, having this kind of humour. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm, I'm doing text now, so I can't speak and write at the same time. Um, <laughs> it's not even that funny, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> okay, so so the the title, so you scroll down my blog spot, <laughs> and it was literally like wanspeak.blogspot.com. And then you see the title, women's rights, and then you see this. Women have rights too. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not that funny, but it's kind of funny. I'm just putting myself in the head of a 17-year-old human and thinking that I've made the best joke ever. I'm crying. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I'm actually crying. My ribs hurt. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> uh, uh, come on, pull yourself together. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Women have rights. Shut up. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> uh, God, I need to clean the, the text up, but. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, that was that tickled me, <laughs> evidently. <laughs> okay, vegetarian option. Um, uh, that might that I think that was. I'm not going to draw it because it's a lot to draw. Two people just sat at a table um, with a waiter, and one person says, "Is there a vegetarian option?" And then the waiter says, yes, and there's another panel. And then in the other panel, the waiter has pulled out a gun and shot the person. <laughs> and the person is lying on the floor with the chair toppled over. Because, you know, it's funny to, oh, I'm a vegetarian. Nowadays, I, I, I eat plenty of vegan food. I think people should be vegan, probably. But I eat meat still because, you know, chicken good. And women don't have right. Um... <laughs> I've just read the next one. Oh, young Ewan, you card. <laughs> a funny, funny boy. The next one is why'd she leave? Question mark. And so that's that's the title. And then this bit is a note for myself is stairs. So that's two people talking, one person saying, why'd she leave? And the other person saying, oh, I don't know, some shit about, meh, meh, you don't tidy up and, and you can't just push people down the stairs when they don't agree with you. And she probably had like bruises and stuff on her face. <clears throat> so that's, that's, that was my edgy, cool, random, funny humour. Cowpole, cowpole is a a medicine like a, a children's medicinal medicine i drink it by the bottle um i don't know if it makes me feel but there's like paracetamol and stuff in it so it's actual medicine um but because it's for kids they like they make it in like black currant flavor and strawberry flavor and it's really like rich syrupy sort of feel and taste to it can you hear that i'm wheezing now i can't breathe properly because of laughing at women's rights <coughs> um and yeah, sometimes if I'm really sick, I'll buy a bottle of that and just drink it because it tastes good. I uh, don't know if it helps, but I like it. Uh, no idea what the joke would have been around Calpol, but uh, it might have been. I love Calpol. I drink it a bottle at a time or something. Um, do you know? See, I didn't write, do you know? I wrote, do you know? J apostrophe N-O. Do you know where I can buy a gun? Um, I don't know exactly what that would have been. It would have been like, do you know where I can buy a gun? 
and then the other person might have been like, oh, I've got one here. And then the other person, the first person would have been like, oh, cool. Can I get that? And they'd have been like, yeah, sure. And then the first person would take the gun and blow their brains out with the other person looking like, oh, my God, what's happening with blood on their face and stuff. And so the first person, as he's blown his brains out, has a big smile on his face. I remember that. Um, that I'm pretty sure that's what that one was. Um, vanilla scone or scone, I've no clue. Um, that that might have been literally like a drawing like this. Which I think is vaguely scone shaped. And then that that might have literally been the whole thing. That that's the joke. <laughs> I, I might have even had had a JPEG of the. I say JPEG because I was I liked the word JPEG, so I used that a lot. Evidently, <coughs> I'm really struggling right now. God, I'm I'm old. Um, that might have been the whole joke because that to me that's funny is do all of this shit and then have a post that's just a vanilla scone saying vanilla scone and everyone's like what can you imagine you have a creator you enjoy the work of and every time they post something new you're excited by it. you're like yes cool a new post you see the title vanilla scone and then you see the image and it's a vanilla scone and it says vanilla scone and that's that's what they give you but you're not paying for it, so fuck you. <coughs> Jesus. Woofter. That's a derogatory term for a gay person. Like puff or puffter. Woofter. I think I liked it because it was uh, it's a funny word. Written in pen. I didn't just write that. was written back in the day. So um, it looks like a drawing pen I used. So heaven only knows what the idea behind that was, behind Woofter. Maybe I was gonna draw a gay dog. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Listen, listen to my breathing. I'm not even trying to do that, that's just. <laughs> I gotta sort myself out. That's all I've got for this week. I was excited by that. Can you imagine? I was excited. I think that would be... It won't make a good thumbnail, but it's a thumbnail. Was on somewhere to keep your grand piano, obviously. Poo on a stick. Blackheads. Racist. Homophobic. Misogynist. And really nothing's changed. So, you know, consistency. There you go. If nothing else, I give you consistency and aids <laughs>